to you my dear brothers and sisters in the Lord with joy in my heart I welcome you to the presence of the Lord today I want us to reflect on what I have titled Lord that I may see Lord that I may see and that is in Luke chapter 18 verse 41 that short prayer that short intention is one of the most powerful prayers for me in the Bible. And that was the prayer of a blind beggar uh, at Jericho when the Lord met him and asked him, what do you want me to do for you? He said, Lord, that I may see. We all know how important it is to be able to see physically. However, it is more important that we are able to see spiritually. It is very important that the eyes of our minds are functioning. It is through the eyes of our minds that we are able to see, understand, acknowledge, and appreciate spiritual realities, and even grasp spiritual truth. So just as we use our physical eyes to appreciate the beauty of nature and the wonder around us, we need our spiritual eyes to be able to see, to acknowledge, to appreciate the beauty of spiritual realities. St. Paul prayed for the Ephesians in his letter to the Ephesians, chapter 1, verse 18. I pray that the eyes of your heart may be enlightened, some translations say, may be opened, so that you may know the hope to which he has called you, the riches of his glorious inheritance in his holy people. So today, this uh, today, let's ponder on some areas that we need God to open our eyes so that we may see. Number one, we need God to open our eyes so that we may see who we are in Him, who we are in God. You know, one of the temptations of the devil is to make us feel worthless, useless, to feel unloved, to make us feel we are without any significant value. The devil tempts us to to give us what we already have in the Lord. In Genesis chapter 3, verse 5, he told Eve, if you only do this, you will become like God. Unknown to Eve that she was actually created in the image and the likeness of God. So when the Lord opened our eyes, we we'll see what glory and honor with which we have been crowned. We we'll see the generosity of God's love upon us. We come to understand the infinite value that God has placed on us. How blessed we are in God. You know, all the things the Bible says about our identity comes to life. We, we understand them better. That you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession. Isaiah 43 verse 1 says, you are mine. We, we understand this better. Zechariah chapter 2 verse 8 says, you are the apple of God's eye. So we pray, Lord, open my eyes that I may see who I am in you. Number two, we need God to open our eyes so that we may become aware of what he is doing. God works in ways that beat human logic, calculation, or method. And that's why the prophet Isaiah tells us, my ways are not your ways. My thoughts are not your thoughts. It says, just as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Isaiah 55, 8 to 9. So sometimes when God is working in our favor, all we see is disaster. God often works in challenging experience, maybe a loss, a disappointment, a rejection, an injustice, a failure, trouble, opposition, bad reports, a door that is closed against us. But this is God actually answering a prayer. But we need God to open our eyes to see him present even in our crisis. And so we pray, Lord, open my eyes to see the ways you're working in my life. Number three, we need God to open our eyes to see what he has deposited in us. You know, God has given enormous talents 
graces, potentials, great abilities, and power to each one of us. In 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 10, St. Peter says, God has given each one of you a gift from his great variety of spiritual gifts. So every one of us is a wonder in the world. In his letter to the Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10, St. Paul says, You are God's work of art. You are created in Jesus Christ. You are, look at that. You are God's work of art. You are God's masterpiece. Created in Jesus Christ. So that is who we are. God has skillfully, carefully, and fearfully made us. But we need our spiritual eyes to be able to see, to realize the enormous divine investment in us. Many people don't realize how beautiful, how wonderful they are in this world. But when the Lord opens our eyes, we see what he has put in us. Number four, we need God to open our eyes to our mission and our purpose in life. Peter was a fisherman, but was created to be a fisher of, man, of men. Matthew was a tax collector using his pen to help the Romans, but he was meant to be an evangelist to bring the gospel of, of our Lord Jesus Christ to the whole world. So many people in life are laboring in the wrong locations. Many people are running so hard, but on a different track. Some people are confused what their purpose is. We need God to open our eyes so that we see where we fit in his overall plan. We need to identify our space. And that is where God has made for us to flourish. Lord, open our eyes to see our mission, our purpose in life. And number five, we need God to open our eyes to see our weaknesses. That's very important. You know, sometimes we think we are holy. We are serving God as he desires, as he deserves. We think we are fearing well spiritually. Sometimes we feel we are blameless. We think of others as hypocrites. We see their faults and their feelings. We describe and categorize people according to their character defect. We fail to see the log in our own lives. We must always ask the Lord, open my eyes to see where I need to improve. Let me see in my life those things that do not glorify you. Let me see those things you want me to change. Let me see those spiritual deficiencies, not in the lives of others, but in my own life, where I need you to repair, to fix, to mend me. And so let us end with this prayer. Lord Jesus, I call upon you today. Open my inner eyes. Cause me to see as I am seen. To see what God has done, what God is doing, and what God plans to do for me. Give me the revelation that I need, O oh Lord, for my spiritual transformation. Amen. God bless you, and I pray for you today. May the Lord open your spiritual eyes so that you may begin to see as you are seen. Amen. Peace be with you. Holy is your name, excellent are your works, abundance your kindness, your will.